Good morning, everybody. It is extremely windy, a little bit chilly. I lost my hoodie, which kind of sucks. I'm in a, in a partial rain suit. And uh, we were gonna go after topwater fish because it's, you know, 5 a.m. right now. And there's 20 mile an hour wind. Welcome to South Dakota, folks. I don't know what we're gonna do today. But we're gonna try to catch some bass, though. We made it. Starting off with the old black buzz bait. We actually found some calm water and some flooded reeds. They're not really flooded, they're always flooded, but water with reeds. It's usually a good combo for pike, bass, largemouth and smallmouth actually like, like this type of stuff. So we're gonna cover some water with some buzz baits. Matt's throwing a little popper. Christian and I are throwing buzz baits. We didn't get up this early not to throw top water. So we'll give this a shot. This doesn't work. There's one. Okay, well it's gonna work. Oh, it came off. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Is that a fight? There's a goo! What the hell? Well, I had a bite. Buzzbait fishing's kinda like that though. Your hookups aren't always the most fantastic. Mix it up here, folks. Swim jig, bluegill, swim jig. Something a little bit more subtle. We don't know why we're not catching fish. I had that one blow up, like one of the first casts. Now, not much, so I'm gonna go with a little bit more subtle approach and see if, maybe they're just a little, a little camera shy with these little bus baits rolling around here. There it is, there it is. Yep, got him. Plopper fish, bass. Look at that, folks. Smalley. No way, dude. Nice smallmouth, too. I'll take him. There we go, first fish, folks. Nice little smallmouth. Look at that, look how aggressive that fish was to eat that. They like that thing, though. I think that was a, that was a good call to switch. Right there, folks. That did it. Smoke. Back in the water she goes. All right, let's catch another one. That's a good sign. Keep on going. If you don't want to throw that, Matt, there's one. There's one big and dude, get the net. That's a big and oh my god, that's huge. It's huge. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yes! Not quite horseshoe. That's big, dude. Woo! Scoop. You almost done screwed it up with that treble. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a tank. Look at that. That's a solid three, a little over three pounder on the old white plopper. We're out fishing basically like a rock, shallow, flat. Awesome. 340. Almost a three and a half pounder. I'll take it. I will take it. Back in the water she goes. Ho oh, ho! That was fun. That was fun. Matt's hooked up, boys. Matt is hooked up. It's a pike. Oh god, you got me wet! There we go. Look at that, look at that little snaky snake. Come on, swell a little snakey snake. That's exciting stuff. <laughs> you catch one? Uh oh. Oh, I think we found them, boys. Look at this. We got doubles. Smalley, though. Is that Smalley? Yeah. Yeah, that's a Smalley. That's a Smalley. I don't have the net, so you're just, you're going to have to go full on Bassmaster. Yeah, I guess he is a little guy. What was, he was, he was making, uh, he was making some hard runs on you. Look at that. Gorgeous, though. Gorgeous fish. Back in the water. All right, Matt's back there trying to situate himself with the pike. I'm gonna help him out real quick. How deep are we right now? There he is. There he is. There he is. That's a smallmouth. Grab the net, Matt. Or, or Christian, it doesn't matter who was closest. Bat, large mouth. I don't need a net. We're good. Large mouth. What the heck? Both species like this bait. You got one? 
Oh my gosh, we got doubles. What is she, Smalley? Large mouth. Large mouth? Well, what just happened? We just, we just completely, we just completely switched species. Look at that. There's a school on my cast. We just right doubled now. up. Yeah, Matt, go ahead and cast in front. Look at that. A little double, double large mouth. I caught him on top part. He caught him on a drop shot. Basically, two completely opposite techniques. But he does know me. I'm, I'm a top water, top water junkie. So I'm gonna keep going. Oh, Matt. Oh, he came off. Matt just missed one. All right. We found. You got him. Oh, Matt. He hooked him again. He hooked him again. There you go. What is he? Is it big? It's a big old small mouth, big old small mouth, big old small mouth. Oh, boys. Dude, that was crazy. We just about tripled as I was releasing mine. Matt just hooked into a nice small mouth on a Ned rig. Oh, okay. There you go. God, I love this. I just love the color of these things. Look at that. Gorgeous. That's, yeah, two, two and a half pounder. Starting to get them dialed in. Christian put us on the juice. I'm catching on top water. Ned rigs, Ned rigs, drop shot, and top water all in the same location. There's not too many places that you can do that, where you can catch large mouth, small mouth, and pike in the same place on three different techniques. Fun stuff, fun stuff. We still haven't caught any giant small mouth. Like a three and a half is pretty good, but we're looking for that. Like, what's the state record? Seven? Seven three. Okay, we're looking for seven four. There he is, there he is. Yep. Yep. There's a good one. Another plop of fish, come on. You think it's a pike? Never mind, it's not that big, it's not that big. He's shrinking. Little large mouth. I just saw his mouth his mouth look big from a distance. It's, they're so deceiving. Look how aggressive these fish are though. This bait is half the size of their body. And they're crushing it like it's freaking an everyday everyday deal. There we go. Another another squeaker right there, boys. Christian's hooked up. What do we got? Large mouth. What's up with all the large mouth? Crazy. Been catching small mouth all trip. This is just the large mouth zone, huh? Yes. On the what drop shot? Yep. The old drop shot, and that's your PB special bait right there, huh? It is. The old Ned rig drop shot combination. Fishing, fishing the same spot. This is we've produced how many fish? Seven, six, off just the same same stretch and i'm catching them on ploppers and they're catching them on ned rigs and, and drop shots pretty pretty insane stuff folks still still looking for that state record though oh that was a fish it's still on there look at that look at that biggin big and we're hooked up on the old dead stick Yes, sir. Dead stick strikes again. If you guys don't know what a dead stick is, it's, uh, see, buddy. It's when you leave, like, I'm going to give you guys a quick tip here. It's when you leave, like, I don't know, seven, seven feet of line out. You just do something like that. Just kind of toss it out. And then you just set your rod down. And you just let it sit there. And it just dangles under the boat. And you want to stick it in, like, kind of a secure place. You know, make sure your drag, make sure your drag's fairly loose. You don't freaking have a rod just go sucked into the lake. But then, like, that's all I did was I tossed it out, just had it sitting right there, and then it went down. Some, something that pretty much only works for smallmouth when you're fishing like this, but just throw an extra rod out, because legally, you can have two rods out. I think two hooks on each rod. I think it's the legal, the legal whatever amount of poles. Leave that there, and then you guys keep on fishing, and then every once in a while, you'll catch a fish right there. Huh? The big one? That's hooked up. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that's a big That's a big one. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm here. Right in the net, baby. Woo! Matt was being all quiet in the back with his little net rig and pulled out. That's pushing three. That's a chunk. Yeah. That is a chunk. Nice, nice, nice work. There he is. First fish, or first cast. First cast off flipping the, flipping the docks. I was throwing just a little little green pumpkin craw. A little small jaws. Where's your Ned rig? You got your Ned rig? Not the size I was after, but you know, I'll take it. We're gonna fish these docks a little bit and then we got a couple humps I think we're gonna go try, and then we're gonna head home. I don't have a whole lot of time. Well we do, but we just we wanna get home. So let's see if we can catch a few more fish. A few moments later. We are now off the water, headed home back to 
Nebraska. Had a fun four days, I think it was. Four days in South Dakota. Great time fishing with Christian and Matt. Caught a lot of big smallmouth, especially last night. But this video, we, we caught, I caught one good one. You know, three and a half is a good one. Three pounder is a good one. Uh, and then just a couple other small ones. It wasn't quite as good as we were expecting, but it was better than just driving home this morning. I mean, we wanted to, we wanted to fish at least somewhat this morning. You know, just get a couple. I was hoping for top water, and I did. I actually caught whopper plopper fish. Caught my first ever smallmouth on a whopper plopper. So I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely worth the trek up here. I uh, I want to come back soon though. I think I'm gonna do like maybe a fall trip here, and then hopefully a spring trip, maybe like a bed fishing trip the the, the following year and whatnot. But like if it's, like I said in all the other videos, if you guys enjoyed the smallmouth, let me know because I can go up. To Canada, I can go back up here. I can go to Wisconsin. There's a lot of places you can catch smallmouth. So if you guys are smallmouth fishermen or enjoy watching them, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you want me to go back to largemouth, let me know too. I kind of want to get a feel for what you guys want to see. I'm also planning on going bow fishing next week. So if you guys want to see that, let me know as well. I still need to buy a bow, so that's kind of what's holding me back right now. But that's that's pretty much all I've got. We're gonna head back home. Make sure if you guys want any flare gear, links down below. If you want the flare frog and flipping rod it will be linked down below as well guggen squad merch and the subscription t-shirt company for guggen squad as well where you can win a free fishing trip with us a free bass boat and all that fun stuff anyways end the video here thank you so much for watching and peace